Oh, it's been so many different stages, I think, from reading the script and being so inspired by the painting and, and getting to see the painting, working with Amara Sante, who's just such an incredible director. I learned so much from her and this amazing British cast. Um, and then, you know, getting a chance to see the movie and, and getting to see people's responses, which has been really, really amazing. Um, I hope people feel uplifted and inspired and you know it's really um, a coming of age story for my character Dido Bell and you know she learns to be comfortable in her own skin and uh, that's, that's a great message I think for anyone. Quite apart from anything else, I'm excited to see the movie again, which is saying something. You know, it's a beautiful story, it's beautifully told, it's really satisfying for an audience, it's, it's a rich movie, you know? So, I can't wait. <laughs> I guess some people might think, oh, period film, oh, that'll be boring, it's just about dresses or something. Um, by the way, the dresses are beautiful, but uh, it's so much more than that. I mean, it's a fascinating, true story. And it, it, what is so surprising about it that, is that nobody knew about it before. From the moment I read the script, I knew this was something really special. And Emma and Emma's vision has been so instrumental in creating it and bringing this piece to life. And uh, I felt so fortunate to be a part of it. And it's so important, you know, it's not just a regular period drama, it's something so unique and it's a true story, you know, it's something that we have to remember the whole way through you watching it, that this, this woman existed and hopefully she'll be an inspiration to people for, for a long time. There are so many stories in this story. It is a beautiful film, crafted by a master filmmaker who's a woman! Yay! You know? It's an historic story, but it's not about just one thing. It's about many things. It's about society and, and class. It's about women and women's rights and who's free and who's not and why. It's about a lot. I was really excited about this story. I'm really excited about uh, seeing people of color living in, in places and times that we don't necessarily see all the time. It's wonderful to see a young black woman in this time period lacking a chain. That's always nice. Um, the director is a, is a female and, and that's rare and she's coming out with something that's really strong and amazing and stunning. Um, so there's a lot of exciting things going on within this piece that, uh, that I really would like to support. Uh, I think it's a beautiful story, and I think a lot of people don't realize that Africans were not only in Europe at that time, but living normal lives, working as um, not enslaved people at first, but you know, hairdressers, butchers, whatever, just normal jobs, voting. Um, so it's interesting to think about the cycles and the roller coasters of uh, human madness. I was surprised by the movie. You see this, it looks like a love story about to take place, right? You see this gorgeous woman, but it really is a story about history. It's about Europe and its role in the slave trade. So I'm fascinated by the movie. Some people call it Europe's, you know, they're 12 years a slave. It's certainly different, but I'm fascinated by the movie. It has a story about the Zong. and It's going to make people want to really go do a little research and learn a little more about history. So I love the movie. It's so important. You know, I wanted to give Dido Elizabeth Bell a voice, and I also wanted to give a great role to a woman of color who, you know, for the first time that we know of, will be, you know, carrying a period drama. I'm excited. <laughs> Gugu comes with an innate grace, which is so perfect for the period. It's so right for the period. I needed an actress who was going to be both familiar to an audience and unfamiliar, you know, in the sense that, you know, we've seen this character before, but we haven't quite seen her in this way. And Gugu inhabits that role perfectly. She's so great in, in, in making us feel comfortable with her, but making us understand and know that she's different. She's utterly amazing. When you do a period drama like this, you always want the actors to be able to 
to, to really perform properly in that era. And she she's completely true to the role, completely true to, 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 to what I wrote. And I'm, I feel immensely privileged that she's in the film. She's a star. I think that in the end, Belle said to herself, no one will be my gatekeeper, I will be what I want to be and you'll love me for what I am. And I think if everyone watches that, feels that, then we've done our job. Well, she was always favourite for the role. And in fact, her work in stateside, I think, really gave her the sort of head and shoulders above other potential candidates. And yes, yeah, she just did a beautiful embodiment of what that woman was at that time. And I think she does a, you know, sensitive and just really precise job. But which, a performance that, as well as sort of being true to the period, I think, I hope, resonates today too. And I think that's a special talent that she pulls off that. Yeah, no, it looked great. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it.